What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we got Ole Miss. Now, before we get into the game, I gotta say some things. I get some things off my chest, man. Recently, I've been criticized for my play calling, which is great, man. I feel like this channel, because on this channel, we like to create teams. You guys can all be fans of the teams. There's no, oh, I really don't like that team, so I can't root for you type deal. Everybody really seems to support Prime U unless we play your favorite college so on and so forth so it feels like i'm the coach and i do get criticized you guys are upset when we lose and stuff like that which i love because it's real life however we have to remember this is ea sports man and no matter how good ea sports was on the ps2 ea sports has always had legacy issues i'm gonna tell you straight up there are certain routes in this game that do not work there are certain plays in this game that absolutely do not work the same is true in madden half of the playbooks in madden historically don't work especially when they're playing on all madden or heisman and in this i play on the highest difficulty so a lot of the plays that you might see me run over and over again i have success with those so i'm gonna run them over and over again even though i do understand that when we struggle on offense it's easy to say you gotta do something else gotta do this but if you could tell me what you would want me to do in this situation i'll greatly appreciate it because i love me some counsel let me know what you think i should do and i'm gonna do it all right, but don't just say you're calling the same plays over and over again. I know what I'm doing. Anyways, I do know that we're down by seven, so let's get into the action. I get the ball to Anderson. He picks up three. Throwing the ball to Dorsey. He can't catch up to it. Anyways, man, it's third down and seven. Looking downfield is Turner, and we are struggling versus a team that we should probably beat. Y'all saw the overalls. They ain't the best team in the world, but we get a lucky break. Stewart has been dogging us. Last season, he dogged us. So far, this season, or th this game, I should say, he's made some big plays, has a touchdown, but he does cough it up on the punt return, so we take over. Second down and seven. Anderson, he's going to pick up the first down move. Those chains, first down and 10 from the 12 to give us to Anderson again. He's going to muscle his way forward for a gain of three. Second down and seven going to the air. That's a touchdown. Sean Young, Johnny on the spot. Big time pass by Turner. And now we have the game all tied up at seven piece. But they go Stewart. I have nightmares at number 40. Gets this one into our territory. Gets inside the 40. Drop at about the 35-34 yard line. Play fake. Looking downfield is Colbert, and he is going to find Sean. Oh, my God. I'm about to call him Sean Kemp again. About to find Christian Kemp, but he cannot hang on to it, man. If he had... I wish he had better hands on defense, man. He's like Jabil Preppers back when he was at Michigan. He could catch the ball on offense, but when it came to defense, he couldn't get a pick. Anyways, man, 7-7 seven, seven going into the second quarter. And Florence, he, oh, Flores, he is going to head down the sideline with a first down. Then they're going to take a shot to the end zone, and Stewart is there again. This dude is a monster, man. Monster, Wayne. First down and 10. Looking downfield is Turner, and that pass hits the grass. We got hit as soon as we let it go. That is not what we planned on doing to give us to Anderson. Anderson, he goes nowhere. So third down and nine from the 17. Turner has a man in Everett. He comes up big. I'm looking for a true number one. I like Sean Young, but to me, he, he's not He's not that big play threat. Y'all know who, who, who we're used to. I'm looking for the next Aaron Coley. Anyways, man, Turner, he's trying to go to the outside, use his legs, but that's not going to work, man. So now it's third down, looking down, field, throwing it up top to my tight end. And that's going to be intercepted, but it's just like a punt, and that is my man Turner's first interception of the season. And then do you see the foolery, bro? The, the stupidness in this game, bro, it, it, it got to stop. It got to. They're going to take a shot deep, and that's going to be caught by Lewis. We can't make a tackle, and he's gone. So we got some warping, we got some missed tackling, and now we are losing. So we're going to pitch this thing to my man Anderson, gets brought down a yard short of the first down marker. So second down and one, give it to him again. Not the fastest running back, but he definitely can run hard and pick up some nice yards for us. So now we give the ball to Bell, and he can't pick up nothing, just two. So right here, Scott has the wheel route. You see that? Let's see what he does. He wins the, he, and gets jammed, and then he still gets held up. And that was the perfect time to call that because in man coverage with one safety, that's when you want to call the wheel route. If they have two safeties deep, it's not going to work. It never does, unless you have a beast at receiver. And that's what I've been saying going back to last year. Having a beast at receiver is key. It's key because in year one, we had Albin. In year two, what, what was that guy's name in year two? 
He wanted to transfer like TCU or Rice, and we talk, we talked him in the stands, and he had a fantastic season for us. Last year, they didn't really have that go-to guy at receiver, and, and, and it kind of hurt. I think this year, we might have somebody, but he might not blossom until later on, but I think we might have somebody, all right? Anyways, it's going to be second down and one, and Ole Miss, they have somebody. It's Stuart. The stupidest, bro. I mean, the, the, the stupidity, okay? The, the stupidness that is happening right now is ridiculous. It's just dumb. It's just stupid. We're down by 20 with the PAT. We're going to be down by 21. He just throws this thing up, man, and Stuart brings it in and makes three people miss. Like, we were destined to lose this game. If you played this game, you know that sometimes you're just going to take an L. Third down, we try to get something going. Probably should have ran the ball, but they used their last timeout. On the very next play, that is their halfback lined up in the slot, and he takes it to the crib, man. Takes it to the crib. So we are getting blown out. It's 35-7. to Going to try to get something going. Pitch that thing to Anderson. He's going to step by the bounds and has the first down. So from the 36, hit him with a play fake and to take a shot up top. And this guy might be the answer. Every true freshman receiver who he recruited during the during the season last, last year might be that guy. Because I need people that can make plays over the smaller DBs. I don't think we have anybody on this team that's going to outrun anybody. We, we are not the fastest team by any stretch of the imagination, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Defense, we got some guys that can run around as Debo. He gets that tackle. But on offense, we, we really ain't got no speed demons, bro. But that's going to be a nice pick with my free safety, Duncan, coming through in the clutch. First down and 10, Anderson. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to run, bro. Ole Miss is playing above their ability, and we are playing down past our their, their, their ability, our ability, everybody's ability. All right, we are just getting creamed right now, bro. It's not a good look, bro. I got, I, I just, just, just the feeling I have in my stomach right now. It's just, it's not good watching this game. It's just, it's not. I mean, look at the fully tack on five more with the face mask. First down for Ole Miss at the 28. They're gonna run the ball again and again. Getting five yards, six yards a pop every single time. Second down. Looking downfield, and my man Brothers comes up big, big time sack. That's what we need more of. He got some more pressure, and that's going to lead to a pick. So Sharp is there with the interception. Brothers with the sack, and then the pressure that forced the interception. That's what I like to see. Option game, not really working. Running game, not really working at all. Taking the shot deep. There he go. He might be the answer. He might be the answer, but then our old line just sometimes decides to part the Red Sea and let everybody in. Anyways, man, looking downfield, we're going to tuck in the run. I was hoping that Dorsey would block him, but no, he allows him to kill Turner. He just died on the field. Turner taking a shot to the right side is going to be caught by Everett. We're definitely going to go for it on fourth down because time is of the essence. Looking downfield, going up. Huh. If we had some time to throw, it would have been lovely. Would have been love. We lose we lose our left tackle right there. Should have had a user right there. Did not get it. They're going to run the ball. Thorne with a huge hit on my man Bly. They give the ball to Bly again. Thorne is there to make the tackle. This time he misses it. You go from smacking him, straight dominating him, to missing the tackle next play and allowing the first down. It's just ridiculous, man. From the 14, first down and 10. Bly is gone. Touchdown, untouched, did his thing. Ole Miss is happy. The fans are going crazy sharing candy and stuff. We're going to hit him with the ground game, and now it's kind of working. But, but we're not in a situation to be running the ball if we really want to come back. It's 42 to 14. Turner gets hit. That's going to be caught by Scott. He's going to get dropped at about the line of scrimmage, man. Ole Miss, again, they're feeling it. They're having a good time. They're they look like they about to move past 500. We about to be below 500. Taking the shot deep, that pass was a little bit too out, too far out in front for Scott to catch up to it. So now we're going to take a shot deep. Oh, Scott, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe we just got to throw Hail Marys all day long. Take shots deep all day long. They go Sean Young making the catch. But uh, Ole Miss did put in the backups. Ever since the fourth quarter started, they've been playing with their backups. So all this highlight stuff doesn't really mean too much. It's their backups in the game. Even on offense, their backups are in the game. We do get a nice tackle right there, man. Second down and eight. They give it to Hall. 
Paul goes nowhere. Now my defense is balling. We put in the backups, now my defense can ball. That pass should have been picked, but it wasn't. So first down and 10 from the 20. Turner, looking downfield. Dorsey makes the catch. I'm telling you, man, we looking good, but it is the backups. First down and 10 from the 40. A we're gonna take a shot deep to my new apprentice at receiver. But he can't catch up to that one. Turner, you gotta be accurate, my dude, from the 48. Second down and 10. We can go with the direct snap. That didn't work. That didn't work. It didn't work, man. So now it's third down and 10. We are three for nine on third downs. One in that real route. That wheel route gets open. Big time catch. Moss some people. Even though it is the backups. Looking towards the end zone. It's gonna be caught and then dropped by Young. It would have been a tough catch. So it's gonna be second down and goal from that 10 going to Young. And we can't hit him. Can't hit him. So now we're gonna bring in my man Christian Kemp. And Christian Kemp is gone. That's gonna be a touchdown, 42 to 28. We kinda have a chance, but then this happens. And remember, it's the backups. It's the backups in the game, bro. We, and we just let him beast and feast on this. Second down and 10. We get in there, my man Benjamin Walden. And that's gonna be third down and 10 from the 19 yard line. They give it to him again and again. Benjamin is there for the tackle, but he almost got the first down. So the kick is up and the kick is good. One last chance for us to maybe crawl back into this game. We only have a minute, so I decide to run the ball. Maybe I can catch him off guard. But even with the backups, we couldn't run. They have a backup D-line in. Everybody on D-line is backup, and we couldn't get it done. Gonna take a shot deep to Everett. I'm telling you, man, this guy right here could be the real deal. He could be that dude. First down and 10 from the 24. Turner looking downfield. Got Dorsey, but that's picked. And that is going to do it in this one, man. We should have won this game. We were definitely the better team. But maybe Ole Miss can continue to play above their overalls. Because if they do that, man, this team looks good enough to maybe play in the SEC Championship game. I don't know. Possibly. Who knows, man. Georgia. Are still, I mean, I like Georgia. Georgia's still a pretty good team. LSU. Uh, Alabama. But Ole Miss, man, the way that they beat us. They the favorites in my book, even though it, it probably won't happen. But I'm just saying. But anyways, that's going to do it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, and again, if you have any tips, suggestions, let me know. Let me know. But I'm gone. Hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.